What is going on everybody? How's it going? And welcome back to the channel guys and gals. So today we're going to be doing a quick introduction to the channel video on this one and three quarter inch um, bandsaw. Uh, it's brand new from DeWalt. It is the 12 volt extreme subcompact series. There's one exactly like this in the 20 volt atomic line as well. This is the DCS375B or Delta Charlie Sam 375 Bravo. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. What is up, everybody? How's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates. All right, so this is the new... DeWalt Extreme Subcompact Series 12 volt brushless one and three quarter inch bandsaw. Um, it is Delta Charlie Sam 375 Bravo or DCS 375B. Um, we're going to do weights measurements on this. It is an introduction to the channel video. Um, it's already unboxed. That's what the introduction to the channel videos are. It's already unboxed. I give you guys weights measurements uh, a quick opinion what I like what I dislike um, if I dislike anything um, and I also uh, if I have a comparable tool that I can compare it to I will this unit is brushless I do have a Milwaukee sitting here I have the, the brushed Milwaukee um, M12 it's the very very old model I've got three different batter uh, four different batteries here compact 2.0 I have a 3, 4, and a 5, or a 3, 4, and a 6 XC battery. Um, and just to let you guys know, the DeWalt is heavier than the Milwaukee brushed model. I do have two um, DeWalt 12 volt batteries here. I have a 5 amp hour and a 2 amp hour. I am thinking of picking up a 3 just for these style videos, you know, the specs, unboxing videos, weights, and measurements. Um, I'm not sure if the 3 amp hour weighs any different than the 2. Um, I've never picked one up because all these bad, all the 2 amp hours I have, I have like 13 or 14 of them, I've gotten for free with a purchase of a tool. Um, I got 4 of these 5 amp hours for free. I am thinking about getting um, just a uh, quick... I have the DCF901 half inch. I'm thinking about getting the, the 903, which is this exact unit, just 3 8 model. Um, if you get the 3 8 model in a kit, um, it's like $3.99 for the kit, which is kind of steep for a 12 volt tool, but the kit does come with a 3 amp hour, just like this, but it's an oil resistant battery, so the whole thing is, is covered in a rubber over molding, and uh, it comes with a um, oil resistant five as well um, and you know that might get me the three or or I might just pick up a, a regular three as well and pick that kit up that way we can compare to see if maybe the oil resistant batteries are heavier um, but um, this is going to be a quick video I already assembled the blade everything on the tool so information on the box Kind of move this bandsaw out the way for a second. So, information on the box. Surface feet per minute, 0 to 380 surface feet per minute. It's got a variable speed trigger. Max capacity is 1 and 3 quarter or 44.5 millimeters by 44.5 millimeters. Max capacity is 1 and 3 quarter, which is 44.5 millimeters. I'm not really sure why they wrote. Oh, they wrote max capacity rectangular and max capacity round. Um, that makes sense. Blade length is 27 inches, 27 and one quarter, or 686 millimeters by 692 millimeters. Uh, tool weight is 6.45 pounds. It is correct. The tool weight is correct. Comes with a DCS 375 bandsaw, a 14, 18 uh, tooth per inch blade blade tracking wrench those are the three items it is a three-year warranty limited warranty one year free service 90 day money back guarantee um but let's bring the tool over here let's grab the scale and we will 
weight with the two batteries and bear. So bear, six pounds, 8.0 ounces. On the box it says six pounds, 4.5. So it, it's basically saying 6.45 pounds, which would be six pounds, four ounces. This is reading six pounds, eight ounces. So it is a little bit heavier than the box, but it's, it's pretty close. Two amp hour battery makes it six pounds, 15.9 ounces. And a five amp hour battery. And all these batteries are fully charged like I always do the videos with. Five amp hour battery makes it seven pounds, 6.5 ounces. So it's a hefty little one. Um, let's grab, let's grab the Milwaukee brushed unit um, and this metal um, wire that I have on it I just have that on it because I uh, hang it from that um, on in my tool closet um, which has all my heavy heavy tools um, that only weighs about a gram and a half it's not a big deal um, it is five pounds 13.8 ounces you want to subtract that it's five pounds 13.7 um, that is bare tool with a two amp hour compact battery. It makes it six pounds, 4.0 ounces. Oh, come on. These, bat these barrel grips sometimes can be a pain. Here's a three amp hour XC. Six pounds, 12.2 ounces. 4 amp hour XC 6 pounds 11.9 oh, 12 6 pounds 12 ounces exactly and then a 6 amp hour XC and all of these are fully charged six pounds 12.7 ounces. Yep, 12.7. So you got there you go. Oh, six pounds, 12.8 ounces. So it did finally settle out. So 12 pounds, 6.8 ounces compared to the DeWalt with a five. We'll put this one back on there. Six pounds, 12.8 ounces. This one's seven pounds, 6.4 ounces. So it is It is 10 ounces heavier. It's 10.4 ounces heavier than the Milwaukee. Um, so it's it's not a lot, but it is pretty hefty. Um, but there are definitely reasons for that. Um, this guy, the housing, is metal. Um, other than this outer shell that's plastic, the LED on this guy is a lot brighter than the Milwaukee. That is a plus. Um, this one has a rafters hook, rafter hook where the Milwaukee does not. Um, this one has a very easy, large, definitely sticks out um, unlock button. This is what it sounds like. It does go down to a very low speed. And uh, let's see how many, uh, how much, uh, how many steps um, on the trigger there are. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
14. So it's got 14 steps. Um, and that is the way, so in, in the trigger, there's the trigger is the wiper and then there's the trace on the board. Um, and how it gets those steps is there is actually, uh, it's a solid line and that solid brass trace line actually has cutouts where it just goes um, brass, empty air space on the board, brass, empty air space on the board. And having 15 of those slots causes it to, every time you pull the trigger across one of those empty slots, it sits there. And then when you pull the, tr uh, the, the triggers, um, a wiper across the next slot it jumps up in rpm immediately so that's what that is uh, upside for me it has metal latches compared to the milwaukee slide hinge style latches like it's a you know a plastic container um, this does have an onboard tool this tool does have a blade tracking um, option right there you can actually adjust it from here, the wrench is installed right here in the tool. This is nice. You can push it forward to lock it. You can hear it, but it also has a detent. So it's unlocked, here it's unlocked. But if you want the whole mechanism, the whole wheel, this side of the wheel to slide all the way to here on the unit, you actually have to pull it with the spring tension all the way back. And you can hear that, that snap of the spring. Uh, it's got a very uh, large, strong spring. I like the latches. I do like, the, even though this is heavier, and this is brushless, my Milwaukee one is not. It's brushed. But this housing is all metal, except for this outer cage. It's, a, it's got a plastic bumper cage. Uh, take the battery off and then pop these latches swing the door open it does have a magnet right here to catch debris off the back of the blade right there it's got a brush here that wipes the the roller wheel on this side clean um, it was pretty easy to get this into the rollers. Uh, the light is down here. Um, I have not had to adjust the tracking yet. It, it was in perfect alignment, um, especially on these wheels. You do want the alignment to be pretty spot on. There is a rubberized section on this wheel. You can see that. Let me turn this light on so it's easier to see for you guys. But. You can see this little rubber line. You want it to be within this line. You do not want it running on this plastic section of the wheel. You always want it to run on this rubber right here. Um, it's self-adjusted. Um, I do like the metal latches. It is a, an awesome feature in my opinion. Snap it closed. Gives you just a little bit extra feeling of security that it is closed. Um, the, the Milwaukee, the Milwaukee doesn't have any special detents. You just swing it open, it's unlocked. Swing it closed, it's locked. But the Milwaukee, sometimes these can be finicky, these little slides. Um, the Milwaukee does have a magnet right there as well, kind of the same. Um, I do notice that the Milwaukee's... Um, rubberized section is actually a lot thicker than the DeWalt's though. Um, but the entirety of the Milwaukee, all of this housing is plastic. The only thing that isn't is this metal piece right here and that the wheels are attached to. Um, you can see that I actually have um, PVC particles in here. Um, I definitely do use this one a lot. This one is coming out of track. It's starting to rub up on the higher side of this rubber piece on this side. But um, on all, it's it's held up well. I do plan on down the road. So sometimes it can be finicky, sometimes it's not. Um, I do plan on down the road getting the fuel version of this. As well as I do plan on getting 
um, the mid-size uh, fuel version that they just came out with. Um, the length, we'll do a couple measurements real quick. I'm not going to measure the Milwaukee. The DeWalt is definitely bigger. So if you go from housing to housing, the DeWalt is 12 and 3 quarters inch of an inch, where the Milwaukee is about 11 and 7 eighths. So the Milwaukee is a little bit shorter. Motor housing on this one is two and three quarters. The handle to the back of the battery compartment is seven and a quarter inches. Um, to the, the rafter hook to the end of the battery compartment is nine inches. Um, housing all the way back, like I said, it's uh, so, oh, it's actually, oh, it's 12 and three quarter. Um, with a two amp hour battery from here to the end of the battery is eight and eight and three eighths to the end of the rafter hook all the way to the battery is ten and one quarter for a two amp hour and a five amp hour makes it um, with just the handle to the battery, it's nine and one sixteenth over one eighth. No, no, it is nine and one eighth exactly, excuse me. From the rafter hook to the battery, it is, is 10 and seven eighths. <clears throat> and the handle thickness is one and a quarter. The light is definitely brighter on this guy. A lot brighter than the Milwaukee. Um, let's pop this open again. Most of this does, this feels like plastic. Yeah, this feels like plastic. It feels like the hinge is plastic. For this plastic piece but it does have a metal pin rod um, that's a plus so it looks like maybe the only thing that's metal um, that I can tell at the moment is this top piece right here this is metal so the actual shroud is metal so these wheels are bolted to a metal shroud um, but all in all it's a nice looking tool I am actually quite happy with it the reason I picked this one up is because uh, a lot of the 12 volt tools I actually buy for my wife. Um, she, this will come in handy if she needs it for gardening. I got the the five and three eight circular saw that she can use. That is a lot lighter than the Milwaukee, where this one's a, a lot heavier than the Milwaukee. But all in all, I'm pretty impressed with the build quality. This does have way more speed. This has got 380 surface feet a minute where the Milwaukee, I believe, is like 200 or 190 something, somewhere in there. Um, but I'm referring to the one I have, which is the M12 brushed model. Um, I do have the big, big boy, um, the massive large bandsaw, fuel bandsaw, but I do not have the new midsize bandsaw or the new M12 fuel one that they came out with. But um, I have a lot of tools, uh, 12 volt tools. Um, the only ones that my wife normally doesn't use are all the impact wrenches. Um, I, I have uh, the, all the impact wrenches that the 12, the 12 volt line has except for the 38903 model. That one I'm gonna be probably picking up like I mentioned earlier with a a three amp hour oil resistant battery and a five amp hour oil resistant battery as well as the tool the bag and a charger i don't need the bag and a charger but those oil resistant batteries are a lot more expensive than these guys um but that is all i got for you guys today just a quick video um hope the information is helpful 
As always, please like, comment, subscribe, smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, <clears throat> as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. You guys have any questions about this tool or any of the other 12 volt tools, leave the comments, uh, leave the questions in the comments. I do have videos on all of the 12 volt tools that I have bought. Um, Appreciate you guys and gals as always watching. You guys are the reason the channel is monetized and you guys are the reason that I pick this tool up because the channel actually paid for a flex kit. It paid for this guy, bear tool. It paid for the five and three eight circular saw 12 volt bear tool. It paid for two six amp hour batteries that uh, uh, 21700 selled six amp hour batteries for the 20 volt line. It paid for the, the flex combo kit, the hammer drill and the impact driver, which we're going to be doing um, lots and lots of demo testing on with other impact drivers. Um, it picked up uh, both new atomic 20 volt um, impact wrenches, the, uh, the compact impact wrenches, the 3 8 and the half inch, as well as I got two 5 amp hour batteries for free with those. So we now have five amp hour batteries. We can do weight and measurement uh, uh, use um, in the weight and measurements videos. So we've got lots of things coming to the channel. Uh, and it picked up two DeWalt Tough Series brand new tape measures, a 16 and a 25 footer. Um, and it, it did also pick up these things today, which the um, I paid for these things because I needed them. But I, uh, sweet deal on this gorilla ladder um bench aluminum construction slim fold bench they're at that for 34 when it's usually like 100 bucks i got this um gorilla ladder which is a fiberglass ladder but it actually is a a twin step um double flip ladder so you can actually flip the leg all the way up and use it as a sing like kind of similar to a slide ladder uh, but you just fold it completely out like that and then you can also use it as an a-frame and then i also picked up this gorilla ladder right here which which is the the multi-position ladder um which is awesome as well both of these were 99 dollars. that one was 34. i also picked up some circular saw diablo circular saw blades for this guy right here which is the 12 volt i was talking about um so that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJ Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. And if this video was helpful, please let me know. If it was helpful, smush the bell notification icon for updates. And I will see you guys on the next video. You guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Peace!